and we just heard from Marcus and Mac. They are the attorneys, the law firm representing injured people that bring us our conversations and including among those, this one with Bob Pollock from the Penn State Extension. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you today? Wonderful. Good. First of all, um, hold that up to the microphone so everyone can <laughs> so see it. Everyone can see it. Um, <laughs> somebody brought this in. It's a... Uh, it, it's got a stem on it of about two inches. It's all brown and dried up like it's been a winter. And then it's got a spiky ball at the top of it. And they wanted to know what it was. And I said to you, it looks like a seed pod to me. You tell me what it is. That's exactly what it is, a seed pod. Oh, yeah? And it's off a uh, sweet gum tree. Sweet gum yeah. tree. Yep. Okay. Those are around so here, the, huh? Yes, they are. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're a, they're a fairly well-known ornamental shade tree. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could say that this is a added value to the tree, or you could say it's a pain in the neck. Ouch! <laughs> if you step on one of those things, yeah, they're hard. Uh, they're bare yeah. feet. Oh yeah, you'd feel it. Yeah, yeah, they're they're firm. So that's how that particular tree. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So what do you break it open? Seeds and little in there. Seeds are inside well, no, of it. Well, no, actually, if you look closely, you uh-huh. can see that there's kind of cavities in there. All right, let me see it here. Again, I'll hold and it hold it up for everybody to see. Okay, I see those. Yeah. So that, so that was each one of those spikes. Those, were, the, those spikes were closed. were closed up, and then they opened up and yes. spat out their seeds. Yes. <sighs> all right. So this one has already done its job. So that's yes, they all have done their job now. Mm-hmm. So now they're laying around. If they weren't cleaned up last fall, yeah, uh, you might still find them. Sweet gum laying around. All right, yep. there you go. So yeah. that's what that is. Mystery solved. I'll so now, let that person know. So now people know. can uh, search that out. Yeah. Say, sweet gum. And, and they can see one you say up it, at the corner here it at 9th like and no, uh, Water? 9th and Water. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a tree there on North 9th, right as you go through the intersection, heading north. Okay. On the left. First tree okay. on the left. There you go. All right. you'll, you'll see. <laughs> you can find those right there, you actually. Bet. All right, 7.47, 13 away from the top of the hour. Serious topic here this morning. Yes. Spotted lanternfly. Oh, my. You knew it was coming, didn't oh, you? Oh, I knew. More counties have been <laughs> added, including some that are getting pretty close to Indiana County, to the quarantine list for spotted lanternfly. You have that correct. What do we do? Well, we need to be on the lookout. Okay. We were supposed to be on the lookout before, mm-hmm. and we want to continue to be. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not here, uh-huh. but... With it being on either side of us, yeah. it kind of increases the chances that it could it's be here, make it too. Yes. Good so, strong wind is going to bring them in. Well, not yet, mm-hmm. because they're still in eggs right now. Okay. So they're, they're over winter as eggs, uh-huh. uh, one generation a year, which is a plus. Uh, other things, other pests have multiple generations yeah. a year, which allow them to propagate a lot quicker yeah. and move a lot faster. All right, so they and put out more damage, but they, this one they put out pictures of what they'll look like as young nymphs and yes. as they age and, and finally become adult, and they change their looks a lot. They do. Um, so, uh, as so an the, egg cluster, the the ag department secretary said, "Crush them, find them, and crush them, and scrape them off off whatever surface they're on. Uh-huh. They're not just on plants. Okay, they can be on vehicles, campers." Uh-huh. Lights, buildings. And what do these egg clusters look like? And I, I kind of think they look like kind of dried up silly putty a little bit. Right. So if you silly think about putty. silly putty, okay, and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Okay. Now that sheen will fade when they're newer. They kind of have uh-huh. that glossy appearance to them when they're laid, when those egg masses are laid in the fall, mm-hmm. and it'll be a, kind of a glob um, laid on a surface. It won't be very thick. Okay. It'll be a more It'll be wider or more spread out than it will be so height wide or looking at a pinky wise. finger. Yeah, that's about. Yeah, if you would take the imprint that you could make from your pinky finger, that'd okay. be about. It might be a little bit wider than that, uh-huh. but that would be about it. All right. And they might be an inch or so long. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, and what about when the pinky finger gets twisted and, and goes <laughs> off the gets out of? <laughs> It's not supposed to do that, is it? Yeah. No, it's okay. not. <laughs> not normally. It's, no, it's been broken a few times. So. Yeah. All right. So. So you have nothing spe- like that. Special extra <laughs> <laughs> things that you can do uh-huh. for entertainment. If only everybody could go. have seen that. <laughs> I don't think Where, anybody would want to see Facebook? that. Where's <laughs> Facebook? You probably have a few other digits that you could yeah. do that with, also. 
Check yeah. it out, baby. <laughs> yep, right there, there you go. <laughs> I can't do that. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Anyhow. We're spotted lantern fly. Subject. Spotted lantern yep. fly. So this time of year, up until May and even into May, mm-hmm. is we'll still have that overwintering period. So you could go out and look now and, and try to find it. Um, and, and actually, if we think about how this is maybe spread, a lot mm-hmm. of it will be near um, – Railroad tracks, yeah, highways, things that move through the area. Yes, things that right. So you can kind of, as you're looking around, start to look in those areas first, and then another. If you can find Tree of Heaven, one of their favorite plants, that. which are all over the place, mm-hmm. um, and especially along mm-hmm. highways and mm-hmm. railways, and it's a horribly invasive areas. plant that we don't want any. It of. is, but those. Those insects are attracted to those. Mm-hmm. Um, so those can be kind of key areas to look at at first. Okay. And then you go from there. But, you know, mm-hmm. that they could be identified in a completely different area than that. Okay. You know, because just think about if somebody has a camper, all it takes is somebody driving to the corn, one of the quarantine counties. I'm coming through it. Visiting relatives, mm-hmm. hanging out for the weekend. Mm-hmm. An adult lands on their vehicle, or and an adult lays an egg mass. And stays there. And stays there, and then they come home. Mm-hmm. So, boom. That's how it You've moved it. And if you don't think that's common, just look how quickly yeah. the quarantine counties have spread now. They're here in the east. Blair and Allegheny are the two closest. Yes, and, and Beaver. And Beaver. So, yeah. So, Allegheny and Beaver, just to the north of that. Mm-hmm. Um, and the map that came out actually showed three kind of blobs on Allegheny County, it almost looks like almost center city, and then one down on the Westmoreland County border. Okay. And then one on the Beaver County border. All right. Um, and then, like, Blair County only had one spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, so those might be isolated. And, again, so that could have been a transportation thing mm-hmm. um, is how that moved, and somebody found it there. So it could be an isolated incident that they've – taken care of yeah uh, and now they're monitoring that but probably okay. in the case of caution they've quarantined the county so the questions people are going to have will be besides um finding them searching them out and finding them is can i spray for them or is there can i spray to prevent them coming or once they become adults does the state have a spray program where the helicopter flies overhead and and wipes them all out just like they do with the black flies, uh, you know those right. sorts of things. Um, and the, the answer to that is no and no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so true. <laughs> no, you can't spray for them, and well, no, yes, they don't have helicopters. Yes, you can. You can spray. For yes. Them. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there are preventively there are or when you see not them. not preventively. Okay. You have to wait till the population's there. So the the treatments are treat the pest. Mm-hmm. Uh, so those nymphs and the adults are too vulnerable stages so those can be treated one of the issues with this pest is that it can just uh, explode so that you can have trees that you can't see the bark of the tree because of all the nymphs and adults that are on that tree trunk or on the branches so it can very heavily infest things to the point where and then because these insects insert their mouth parts into the bark. Mm -hmm. And so the younger ones, the nymphs, which start out as little black-looking creatures with little white dots on them, Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll, as they molt, uh, they'll change colors a little bit, and they'll get more red and black and white in combination. But anyhow, they're younger. um, Their mouth parts aren't as strong and stiff Mm -hmm. so they tend to get on smaller branches of trees and shrubs so things like uh, blueberry (laughs) plants um, especially in vineyards so on vines on grape vines Mm -hmm. uh, and especially on the younger wood now the older ones they can feed on anything they can drill right through it yeah (laughs) okay so (laughs) this is not helpful news today on indiana in the morning so you know that's why they've been trying so hard to limit the spread of this Mm -hmm. And it, it'll make it – people were not able to go outside. There were so many of them congregated, really? yeah, in areas. So we tend to ignore this and have pretty much ignored this whole situation because ah, we're not involved. 
Mm-hmm. We're not quarantined. It's not here. Mm-hmm. Um, but we and, only and need to some, think back to a couple of years to the emerald ash borer. Yes, and emerald ash borer. You go back before that to gypsy moth. Yeah. Uh, so things like that. That and, and brown marble rated stink bug to a point. Uh, but gypsy moth was much worse, and emerald ash borer was much worse. Yeah. Uh, okay. Situations. So. And this thing is going to bring down trees. It's not and going to attack you. Uh, no. You know, and neither did. The brown marmorated stink bug that yeah. could actually go crawling on you and was a real house invader. Yeah, uh, and the ash borer was really it, it really liked the ash tree. Yes, very specific this, host. This particular the spotted lantern fly is much more cosmopolitan. They 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 like yeah. a varied dinner plate. Yeah, definitely. so they'll eat anything. They'll they'll get on right. Yeah, as long as it's you know woody material that they can suck sap out of. Mm-hmm. So the other real nuisance factor to this is so they. Absorb tree sap. Yeah. Um, utilize what they can out of that, of course, mm-hmm. uh, just like a food source. Um, and then that passes through their body and out the other end. Um, and that sugary liquid substance mm-hmm. will come raining down. Like literal rain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. So, you, so you don't <laughs> get in lanternfly <laughs> poo coming right. at you. Yeah. It'll, Boy, it'll be more so of a clear. It'll be more of a clear liquid. You do um, some of the best segments here on Indiana in the morning. <laughs> Watch so, out for a lanternfly poo. So where do we where do we like to have patios and uh-huh. picnic tables and park cars under trees? Uh, yeah. If this gets here and we have it, mm-hmm. you won't want to be doing that. Okay. <laughs> You'll be doing a lot ah. of cleaning. And of course, you know it's sugary. Oh boy. The sap is sugary. Mm-hmm. So then you get black sooty mold growing on that sugar Mm -hmm. so those surfaces that are sticky and look clear to begin with then the mold starts to grow Mm -hmm. and feed on the sugar and you got ants and everything else yeah then you'll get other things attracted to that and bees and and all that so it becomes a huge nuisance um, as well as economic pest uh, to certain crops Thanks for so, doing this segment for us today. We appreciate it. You started that. all this. <laughs> it's the voice. So right now, look out for egg masses, and uh, the rest is coming. Of Indiana County, WCCS.